Right, bladed jigs are all the rage for both bass and redfish, and there's a great reason why. They're extremely productive. Nothing puts off more vibration than a bladed jig. Of course, the original was the Chatterbait, a product that's now produced by Z-Man, but other companies have come up with their own models, and each one has its own bells and whistles that makes it productive. But that doesn't mean that each is necessarily as good as any other. And to find out what their strengths and weaknesses are, we've come to our neighborhood pool, we're going to put some GoPros in the water and run some bladed jigs in front of them and see how they look and sound underwater. Now, if you've seen previous pool tests, you know that I like to give scores to each of the baits that we test, and we're definitely going to do that today. We're going to judge each on sound. Obviously, that's the most important factor. These baits give off a ton of vibration and definitely get noticed by fish, so you need that sound to draw attention, particularly in dirty water conditions. We're also going to run them as slowly as we can in the pool to see if high speeds are necessary to get that blade to chatter. Obviously, the slower you can work it and still get some action out of that blade, the better. So we'll call that rate of retrieve for scoring purposes. And we're also gonna score each one based on price. Some of these things are an absolute fortune, whereas others are a little more economical. So let's get started. There's Joel over there, he's gonna give me a hand. <laughs> and we've also got the trusty traffic cone, as well as the push pole to lower it in. I'm gonna mount the GoPro on that. We'll be rolling here in just a second. All right, these are the baits we're gonna be looking at today. First up, we got the original chatter bait. It's been around for a lot of years now. It's produced a whole lot of fish. Then we got the Project Z series chatter bait. Next, we got the chatter bait elite. And then we've got the Z-Man CFL freedom chatter bait. Next is kind of a newcomer, the Booyah Melee. Then we've got the Striking Thunder Cricket and the Z-Man Evergreen Jackhammer. Now there's a wide variance in price in these. Let's see if it makes a difference. The reel I'm using today is a Luz LFS. Now this one is a, a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio, just the rod I grabbed. If I was fishing this, actually fishing it, I would use a slower gear ratio reel, but this will be great for our purposes. All right, first up is the original Chatterbait. Now, obviously, as you can tell, we're fishing all these without a trailer. In real world application, I would certainly have a trailer on here, but we want to see how they look straight out of the package without any bias at all, so no trailer. Let's take a look at it. All right, just because this is the original design, doesn't mean that the newer models are necessarily better. This thing makes quite a racket in the water. And even at low speeds, that blade still chatters. In slow motion, you can really see that blade dancing and that skirt shimmying. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Publius Sporting Goods. All right, next up is the Z-Man Project Z Chatterbait. This one's kind of more lifelike looking. Let's see if it works as well. All right, the Project Z has a streamlined head that's supposed to allow the blade to swing more freely. But in all honesty, I couldn't tell much of a difference. Certainly the bait looks great in the water but at low speeds, it seems to move just as well as the original chatterbait. Right, next up is the Chatterbait Elite. This one has a hand-tied skirt, so the skirt stays up a whole lot better. It's also got a painted blade. Let's take a look. All right, the Chatterbait Elite has a beefed up blade that sounds great, but doesn't seem to move quite as much as the previous two. Next up is the Chatterbait CFL Freedom. As you can tell, it's got a swinging hook. 
It's detached from the actual football head. Now this is a great bait for fishing in deeper water than what you'd fish maybe with a traditional chatterbait. Let's see how it looks in the water. All right, the football head design of this thing makes it really want to get down to the bottom. So you've got to fish it a little bit faster than the previous baits. But boy, once it contacts the bottom, that zinc head really emits some sound. This thing would shine targeting redfish over shell beds or bass around rock and wood. All right, now we got the Booyah Melee. Now an interesting feature of this particular bait, the blade does not collapse along the hook shank. Now that's a good thing if you're fishing around a lot of grass because it's just going to roll right through there, but I'm wondering if it'll affect your hookup ratio as those fish hit this bait. This thing is not going down. You might miss some hookups. I don't know, but we're going to see how it looks in the water. All right, this bait by far is the loudest of any of them. That's the good news. The bad news is at low speeds, the blade tends to lock up. And for me, that's just a deal breaker. All right, now we got the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Obviously, you can tell it's got a different shaped blade. It's also got a 4 odd owner jungle flipping hook. Look at that thing. <laughs> really, really sharp. Let's see how it looks in the pool. All right, this bait really looks good, but it was a whole lot quieter than I had hoped. At low speeds, though, that blade continues to dance. And the last one we're gonna look at is a Z-Man Evergreen Jackhammer. Now, if you've never priced these, let me tell you, you gotta take a bank loan on the way to buy one. Very, very popular though. People who like them say they catch far more fish than any other bait in this class. Let's see if we can tell a difference in the pool. All right, because of the price, I really wanted not to like this thing. But man, it just looks and sounds fantastic. It's probably not quite as loud as the melee, but it's still pretty loud. And the bait darts and dances on its own, and that blade constantly keeps chattering, even at really low speeds. Congratulations to our two winners, the Chatterbait Original, whose score was buoyed by its really great price, and also the Jackhammer, whose score was punished by its really high price, but overall that thing just really, really performed well. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video, and if you haven't done so yet, click the join button and become a member of Marshman Masson, and until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, or poolside, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by H&H &H Lure Company and by Versamax Corks and by SportsmansOutfitters.com and by Cito New Orleans and by Bill Lewis Lures and by Death Grip Jigheads.